Yo, what's up? How are you doing? Come on. Sit down, everybody. Sit down. Perez is next, I believe. Yeah, okay. Perez. I'm hoping this isn't going to give me a copyright problem because, uh, I believe it did in MotoGP 17. And I had to mute it every single time. Thank goodness, too, for YouTube's new feature where you can just ask for it to edit, you know, auto edit the audio, or I mean the music out. That's a nice feature. I like that. Yeah, see, De Espana. It's weird how it showed the uh, main menu bike there for a second. I remember too, Cal Crutchlow was our uh, teammate there for that one season. I think that was 17, right? I know I just recorded that like last week, but I can't remember already. Which is to go faster. Come on, do it. Hurry up. Did it get stuck? No, no, it's still going up. It's probably the slowest loading screen so far. and welcome to Jerez de la Frontera. There's already a lot of excitement inside the paddock and in a few minutes, the race direction will signal the start of the customary qualifying session. The sky above us is clear and the forecasts say that the situation will be stable for the entire duration of the session. You know, so far it doesn't seem like the TV is actually picking up on the microphone, but I wouldn't know because... I'm trying to look at the audio level, but I can't see. Okay, time for qualifying. In the pit, the mechanics are preparing the bike, and the rider seems very focused. We'll see if he. Can I'm not that focused, no. Now, Jerez is not a track I could cut very well on, no. By the way there, it's so irritating, the colored smoke there, you see that right there? Right there. Draws the eye too much. Right there, see, it's weird. Can't breathe it in, it's probably poisonous. Back here, Philip or Philippe. Which one is it? I don't know. Pass me again. First quarter. Oh, too much gas. And straight. I'm gonna get him. Just gonna pass his back. There you go, right there. See? Mmm, called it. And I touched him. Oopsies! <laughs> Completely an accident. I assure you. I 
All right, quick poll. Uh, does this game look worse than uh, the previous year game? I'm thinking it does by a little bit. Okay, 153. Yeah. All right there, go to the gap. Oh. He has returned to the pit, but we can't tell whether he is satisfied with what he has done so far. Ah, uh, sort of. Um, maybe I'll hold it. Not by much. Half second. That brings an end to the qualifying session for deciding pole. Also, I gotta tell you, uh, I, re I miss Roth Shaheen in the previous game. They also give us an idea of what the riders will be capable of in tomorrow's race. They should have just kept him, that would have been great. Mm. <laughs> well, these loading screens are awful. I also wonder if the dog barking and the phone noises are going to cuff, or I mean, um, pick up on the microphone. We'll also Hello find out. Welcome to the Jerez de la Frontera circuit. Just a few more minutes before the Moto3 race at the Spanish Grand Prix finally begins. The weather forecasts are very reassuring. We will have sunny weather for the entire duration of the race. I was hoping for another rain race, but that's fine. Let me get the cookie off my hand and we can begin. Here we are live from the Moto3 class starting grid, where riders and engineers are talking over the last few details before the race. Those details are don't crash, stay on the bike. Just a few moments to go until the start of the Spanish Grand Prix. These riders know it will be vitally important to take the first curve perfectly. All right, here we go. First race with a microphone. Might have to turn down the TV, huh? Not really sure, that's the problem. They're cut it a little bit. I'm also hoping there's not too much desync on the microphone too. Oh, yeah, actually, I was gonna play by this too. Uh, those, those, what do we call it? Like updates, overtakes, things down there. That's kind of annoying. Oh, there goes Jorge. We're gonna have to kill him again. Back here, Jorge. Oh, we all shot him. He gets to live for now. Never mind, there he is. Well, I guess he continues to get to live. Oh wait, never mind, we killed him. <laughs> there wasn't a crash update though. Uh, now we get to see if he can make his way back up here, huh? I also can see if I get to catch this guy. Probably. 
He's just right there. Uh oh, too much gas. Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll get him here. I'll kill him too. How's that? There you go. Now he's down to 13th. Beautiful. That's where I have the highest number of the field. Ah, uh, oh beer, excuse me, I'm sorry. Lunch is not cooperating to a, uh, what was it again? I think it was leftover chicken rice. Very tasty. The stomach's not liking it. I was going to eat it yesterday, but then I forgot about it. It was from two nights ago. Still plenty good. Definitely a big battle between Fabio and uh, Aaron. Aaron. Alright there, see, like, yeah, they keep going back and forth. Look at that. Okay, whoa, hold on, there's two different Jorge's in the field? Interesting. 120. Oh, okay, that way there. Second and a half up. Oh, there's the Jorge. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's up to 13th. He's really making his way up the field. I'm not even focusing on the road. I'm just looking at, <laughs> I'm just looking at the right sidebar. Look at that right there. Mm. It's too active. It's like, it draws the eye. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, right there, see? He's above John McPhee. Up behind, uh, above Lorenzo. Ah, uh, still the same gap. Hasn't changed. Fastest lap, though. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I definitely want more rain races. Driving in the uh, clear is just not so good, you know what I mean? Kind of boring, really. Let's see where they are. Let's look. No, nah, they're back there. You can see them. Slow it down, slow down. A little bit more. Okay, so the second guy I wiped out, he's up to seventh. A Bastianini. I think. Right, is that right? Yeah, yeah. This is the second Jorge right there, see? Alright, there, see that? The other Jorge is up to ten. The other guy's up to sick. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, wait, that was a mistake. Let's see if I can do it, yeah. Oh, jeez! <laughs> One thing I can appreciate is the new rag doll. Oh, no, he's still up. I gotta take him out, not wipe me out. Where, Mr. Kane? Did we do it? Yeah, we did it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, jeez. Did we really wipe him out? or I can't really remember. You will not deny me the G. Fabio. There we go, we won. That's ten more gamer score. While the park Ferme starts to fill up with the stars of the race, that one was pretty good. That was really close. Yeah. Race final ranking. All right, good luck, Jorge. 
couldn't get past eighth. My Bastianini was only fifth. That's really going to uh, affect her standings in the year. Hundred points, oh yeah. There we go, solidifying my first rider status. And then give me the Chivo. Wait, hold on. Wait, we already got the Chivo? This victory is the cherry on top of an exhausting weekend. If his team keeps working like this, Wait, actually we might already have the Chivo. For his opponents to overtake him. I do believe the Red Bull Rookie Cup was here, right? I do believe. All right, where's we? Oh, wait, hold on, back to that. We have just enough for level five. Awesome. So power is next, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Or brakes, maybe? But we'll find out when we get there. Come back for more.